Today I'm taking on a new GeoGuessr challenge. I'm going to give myself three minutes and I need to guess as many countries correctly as I can within that time frame. Usually on this channel I take my time with each round and explain my thoughts, but for this speed is of the essence of course, so I'm going to be going as fast as I possibly can. If you enjoy this format, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe, and let's get into it. Alright, I've got the settings on no move, I have a three minute timer ready to go on my phone. As soon as I click start game, timer begins. Let's get started, timer is running now, here we go. Uh, first one is Japan. Nice and easy for us. Uh, next looks like Peru. Good. Uh, this one is... What is this? Oh my god. What? Is this Argentina? Kind of a weird one, but okay. Uh, this looks like maybe Lithuania. Oh, huge. This one seems like Malaysia on the Borneo side. Uh, not the Borneo side, but still Malaysia. It's still good in my book. Alright. Five for five so far. Uh, this is Kruger National Park in South Africa. Good. Is this the Philippines? Yes, okay. Looks like the US here somewhere, nice. Uh, this is Brazil, I think. Good, that still counts, I got it right. I, I just clicked in the water there, and this one seems like Taiwan. Okay, there we go. All right, 10 countries in, let's keep going. We haven't missed one yet, but we're bound to screw up sooner than later. This, oh no. Oh, that's terrible, yep. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Okay, that's Guatemala. Well, you can recover from that. That's okay. This is South Africa. Good. What? Is this Mexico with an Alto stop sign? Good. Uh, just Russia. Alright, there we go. So we missed one. That's okay. We can live with it. Is this the UK? Good. Oh, this is tough. Um, oh, French signs. There we go. Oof, those are lucky to see. Clutch to get those. This is Costa Rica, holy crap. Didn't expect to see that, wow. Uh, this is Australia. And this one is Nigeria. Okay, there we go, picking up the pace again. Let's keep going, we got a minute and change left. This is Vietnam. Gonna click as fast as I can. Next one, maybe the UK again. Nice. Uh, just the US, maybe Canada, good. North Dakota. Brazil, I think. Nice. Oh lord, help me. Uh, <laughs> is this Montenegro or something? Or Albania? It's Albania, damn it. Okay, that kind of location I need to take more time with, but we need to guess, guess, guess as fast as I can. This is maybe Indonesia. Oh, this is a terrible... Why did I click on Papua? <laughs> uh, this is Ukraine. There we go. Uh, next, maybe Bulgaria. Good. U.S. somewhere. Nice. Um, holy crap, Norway. Oh, huge, okay. Wasn't sure about that one, that was tough. Alright, we still got 15 seconds, let's try and add a couple more. South Africa, maybe? Good. Uh, I don't know, Finland? <laughs> yes, huge. And Bulgaria, again. Click, go. And time is gonna run out, there we go. Oh, okay, that was tough, man. So I ended up getting 31 countries right out of 33 rounds that I played. I'm pretty happy with that result. I think I might have been able to do a little bit better, but overall very satisfied with that score. The first location I missed here was this Indonesia one. I guessed Brazil for this. Taking a second look here, there are definitely clues that this was Indonesia. Uh, this pole here is the Indonesian one with the three sort of converter things at the top. That's one you see all across Indonesia. Also, this architecture is pretty characteristic of Southeast Asia. But overall, I do think this is a pretty tricky one, especially looking for just half a second. Brazil was definitely not the best choice here though, that's for sure. The second one I got wrong here was this Albania location where I guessed Montenegro. Now, a lot of you guys probably know this, but both of those countries have these rift things up in the sky from the Google camera, and so I think the big thing to tell these apart though was this antenna, which is longer. I think that's more of an Albanian thing. I'm absolutely no expert about either of these countries, but looking at the architecture here definitely feels a little bit more Albanian over Montenegro, I would say. But again, it's one of those things where you have two very similar looking countries and you look for about half a second, I can definitely understand why I got confused. Alright, we're set to go for attempt number two. No moving is the setting. I have three minutes to reset on my phone. As soon as I click start, timer begins. Let's go. Gotta really concentrate. Uh, this is one of the US islands, so I'm just gonna click there. Counts. This is Chile. Good. Uh, Italy, maybe San Marino, I hope not. Good, it's still Italy. Uh, Canada. Alright, and Kenya. Good start, good start. Okay, let's keep going. 
Ooh, Canada again, maybe? Oh, US, that's tough, that's tough. Uh, US this time for real, there we go. Ukraine? Russia? It is Ukraine, good. And this one seems like just, I guess, Brazil, I don't know. Oh, it's Mexico, terrible, terrible. This is maybe the UK? Oh, Denmark, this is not going well. We're, we're crumbling fast here. Let's pick up the pace. This is Russia. Oh my god, um... What? Is this Sri Lanka? That's weird, okay. Click! Jordan. Ghana. Brazil. There we go, okay. Honestly, one of the biggest things holding me back right now is just clicking fast enough. Because <laughs> sometimes I'm missing the buttons or, you know, not clicking where I need to, so... It can be kind of brutal. But we just gotta go fast, man. Is this Eswatini? Nice. Ghana again. Okay, we're almost at a 10 streak, and this might kill me. Is it Indo? Oh, it is Indo. Nice. Okay. Oof. Next one. Uh, oh, Portugal. There we go. <laughs> I almost thought it looked like Brazil first, and then I saw the language, and I was almost about to guess there. And that one was actually Brazil. This looks like Mexico. Good. Ghana again. Ghana's showing up a lot this time. Kyrgyzstan. There we go. Okay, we're at a 15 streak. Not bad, not bad. We got 56 seconds left. Is this Macau? Or Hong Kong? Oh, it's Monaco! That's so bad! <laughs> what am I doing guessing Hong Kong? And I missed Canada there. Oh, that was terrible. Absolutely awful. I don't know what this is. Oh, it is actually Mexico. France, I don't know. Oh, it is huge. Uh, some of these I feel like I'm just getting kind of lucky with. This is Austria. Good. Okay, we got 30 seconds. Let's go. We gotta make up some ground from all those misses. This is Japan. Nice. Senegal. Come on, come on. Let's get as much as we can. Belgium. That's good. Uh, Brazil. I don't know. Oh, no. It's Espertini. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Argentina. Oh, five seconds. Come on. One more from this game. Let's go. Get it. Let's get it. Oh. Chile. Oh. Is it Chile? It is Chile. Wow, that was a buzzer beater right there. For this attempt, my score was 30 out of 36, which is pretty good. We played a few more rounds than the first one, but I think that sacrificed a little bit of my accuracy. Or maybe we just got harder locations, so let's take a look at the ones I got wrong. This is the first one I got wrong. This is the one where I guessed Canada for the US, and looking at this in hindsight, yeah, definitely southern US pine trees. Uh, this is in Arizona, and yeah, the trees definitely check out. Signs are American here as well, with the mile marker and all that. This blue one, too. This is the second one I got wrong. This one, I guessed Brazil, but it was actually Mexico. And taking a look here, the cars are the biggest giveaway for Mexico. It's these license plates, the shape. Brazil has slightly wider ones, so not quite the same. And then also, Mexico has Alto on their stop signs. Uh, Brazil has Pare, so not exactly the same there either. Alright, the third one I got wrong here. This one is Denmark, but I guessed the UK. And I think what my thought process was was that this is a really narrow road and we had trees right next to us and that's something you get a lot in the UK but taking a look at the rest of this landscape here we got a lot of cornfields and stuff which isn't very common in the UK and this kind of landscape as well just isn't quite right okay the next screw up was where I guessed Macau for Monaco I really don't have anything to say about that. I mean, this is just quite clearly not Macau. It has .mc right here. I think when I was quickly panning around, the phone numbers I thought were Chinese characters. Oh, we even had the Monaco flag. It's ridiculous. Next one here was another US-Canada screw up. This is Canada, but I guessed the US. And Canada has a lot more dirt roads than the US, so I really should have guessed Canada on this one. And overall, this sort of farmland setting is more Canadian than American. This is the last one I got wrong. This is in Eswatini, but I guessed in Brazil. And another one where you take a look for more than half a second and you see all the clues for Eswatini. First of all, this kind of architecture, very characteristic of that Southern African region. Uh, the signs, the kinds of trees we've got, this general landscape too with the mountains. Okay, that's it for this sort of experimental GeoGuessr time trial. Let me know what you guys thought of it down in the comments, and make sure to leave a like down below if you want to see more similar things like this. Until next time guys, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you later.